the first thing that I'm gonna do is make my page layout orientation landscapes insert word art and I'm just gonna use happy birthday I'm not gonna customize it to any particular person I'm going to, going to click on it, wrap text, behind text. I'm going to change my dimensions to 8.5 by 11. Okay, and then I also unlocked that right there. Okay. I'm going to move this sort of to the center of my page. I'm not going to talk much on this video. I'm just going to drop in all the clip art that I'm going to use and then I will come back to the video at the end to, you know, to give a little bit more instruction if I need to. Okay, so let me finish adding the rest of my things in here. I'm just going to add a few of these fish. So let's say you wanted to change the direction of your fish so you just go to rotate and then flip horizontal and then they you know they could swim any direction that you want I'm now going to add my nutrition facts and my barcode. So for these, since they're a JPEG image, I'm going to wrap text in front of text, and then I'm going to recolor and set the background to transparent. So I'm going to add my label in. So there's a few options. 
And I think I like the other one better uh, that was clear. So making it a basically a JPEG and removing the background because you could still see through. But this is an option as well. Just depends on what you want or, you know, what you would choose. So you have room to enter, you know, the birthday person's name here at the bottom you could still see the fish or if you wanted it to be completely see-through you can add it as a jpeg and set color uh, set color to transparent like that and then it's completely clear like it this way a bit better but you know it's just a personal preference thing you you can decide whatever you like to do so I'm gonna add maybe a few more bubbles and wrap this thing up I will go back to my chip bag and add it on there Hope maybe for the last time and then just position everything the way that I want okay I will go to my format to size 8.5 take that lock off and go to format wrap text in front of text so that will sort of make it um, the chip bag stick out more uh, however I think I want to move this fishy over a tiny bit Okay, so you could just check your placement on everything, and if it looks good to you, then you are good to go. Okay, so this is the finished product of my chip bag. And it's very busy. It has a lot of details. I did that on purpose just because I wanted to show you guys that there's a lot of details that you can add to your chip bag to make it fun and you know festive for your client's party. Now, you don't have to go to this length. It really just depends on what your clients is asking of you or what you want for your own chip bag but i just wanted to show you the details that you can accomplish by using the wrap text in front of text and wrap text behind i'm just going to use tacky glue for this
Now I'm gonna do the bottom. So I printed out my chip bags on a glossy piece of paper on the right and a plain white piece of paper on the left just so you can see the difference. It's the exact same image, it just is a different kind of paper. They both look good. One would be cheaper than the other, so that would be completely up to you. But you know, you can always print it out on a plain white piece of paper and save a little bit of money. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any content suggestions, please leave it below in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks as always for watching.